Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I will talk to you about the three garments I made this month that made up my January outfit. If you watched my January plans video, you know that I was planning on making a complete outfit this month in an effort to reduce the number of orphan garments I have in my closet. So for January, the outfit consisted of a pair of pants, a long sleeved cowl neck t-shirt and a knit blazer. So I'm going to talk you through the three patterns I used, the fabric I used and some of the challenges maybe <laughs> of making each one of those garments. So let's begin with the pants. The pants are the Magna Pants by Cashmerette. The pattern is part of the Ahead of the Curve book that Jenny Rushmore published, I don't know, maybe two years ago, I'm not sure. It, it's actually the first pattern I made from the book. So I made a muslin to begin with. I had some inexpensive cotton poplin. I actually bought a bolt of it because it was on sale, like a crazy sale, like 80% off or something. And I thought maybe I could use it for uh, quilt backs. It's a black and white print. So, but it's so inexpensive. I'm also using it to make muslins. Now, it's probably not the best fabric for a muslin because it is a busy print and it is difficult to see what's going on. <laughs> so any possible adjustments I needed, they kind of get lost with the busy, busy print. But I followed the book. So the adjustments that are described in the book and how to fix them and decided to shorten the rise by half an inch, the front rise by half an inch, to uh, make a low seat adjustment. So I scooped the back crotch by about a quarter inch. And did I do anything else? No, I did nothing else. So yeah, the front rise was a little long. I was getting a bit of a wedgie because of my low seat. So I went with those two adjustments and made my final pair of pants with a textured cotton that I bought from Core Fabrics. It's also a black and white print. It's almost like an abstract animal print, which I thought was kind of cool. And they aren't perfect, definitely not perfect, but they fit and they are incredibly comfortable. Now I have to admit, and I don't know if I'm the only one who, who thinks like that or who has that issue, but I have a really, really hard time reading the wrinkles on a pair of pants. You know, they say, you know, diagonal, diagonal lines coming from your hip to your inner thighs or your bum to like, yeah, I don't know where the issue is. And even with the best of instructions, I still get very confused and my pants rarely fit the way I want them to. So these are okay. The front rise is still a little bit long. I'm still not crazy about the back, like under my bum, there's a lot of extra fabric and it shouldn't be there but I'm not quite sure how to fix it because yeah, I mean the low bum adjustment was supposed to fix some of that and it did to some degree, but not really Anywho, So they are perfectly wear wearable. I wore them for an entire day and I will wear them again, but I'm, I want to try this pattern again. And this time I'm going to use the, top down center out method to make my muslin and see if that gives me better results. I'm 
seeing all kinds of videos and Instagram posts of people who have tried that method and they've had really good success on their first try. So I'm going to stop trying to read wrinkles <laughs> and I'm just going to try that one leg muslin using the top down center out method and see if I get better results that way. But overall, the pants are great. I think they look okay and um, yeah, perfectly wearable. So that's for the pants. The second garment or the second piece of this outfit was a white cowl neck long sleeve tee. And I chose the Love Notions La Bella Donna in the shirt view. Um, long sleeves and cowl neck, like I said. So I have made this pattern a number of times already. I've even done the cowl neck. I did it in the tunic length, but this time I made it in the shirts, uh, shirt length. And yeah, I mean, it's a very simple, it's a very simple top, really. There's no set in sleeves. So it's like a dolman style and the sleeves start like here. Um, the cowl neck, very, very easy to attach to the bodice. It's got a nice curved hem, which I love and is not difficult to hem at all. I had zero problems putting this shirt together. I used a fabulous bamboo jersey from Beyond the Pink Door to make it. It is lightweight and it is very drapey and clingy. Um, so I don't know that I would wear this top on its own very often. I mean, you can literally see all the lumps and bumps. Um, it's also a little bit sheer because it's white. So, but I love it. I love it. It is so comfortable, so soft. I made my, what size? I made a size XL which what my all of my my other La Bella Donnas were all XLs, so I just went with it. The pattern was printed, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it'll go with so many things already in my closet. I have navy pants I can wear this with, gray pants I can wear it with, black pants. Um, I've got a really nice wine-colored pair of joggers I can wear it with, so... This cowl neck t-shirt is going to go with so many things in my closet, which really was the point of this whole thing. I want to make things that go with stuff I already have. So this probably will not be my last La Bella Donna. It comes together so, so quickly and it's so easy to make. Uh, there definitely will be more. And I do like the cowl neck a lot. So, yeah, so that's for the top. Now, the third piece of the outfit is the Metra Blazer by Love Notions, made up in a magenta scuba. And I can't remember where I bought it. I've had it in my stash forever. Now, those of you who have watched my plans video might say, well, Izzy, that was not the fabric you picked when you filmed your plans and you would be absolutely right. But when I laid out my purple Ponty to make this blazer, I realized I didn't have enough. Um, so I had to put that aside and go with something else. And I had this cut of scuba in that gorgeous magenta that would fit the bill perfectly. So I went with that. Now, uh, this is the exact same size, same view, same everything as the black and white Metro blazer I made for Christmas to go with my Christmas dress. So not much else to say. Uh, I, once again, I omitted the pockets. I didn't feel the need to make the pockets and go through the extra trouble. Not that they're super difficult, but yeah, I just didn't want to do the welt pockets and yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a size XL made with a scuba. Not much else to say, really. I love, I love my Metra, and it is really, really comfortable. 
Now, the beauty of this outfit is because the top is white and the pants are black and white, any solid colored layering piece is going to go with this. So I have a black cardigan I can wear with it. I have a burgundy cardigan I can wear with it. I have um, my black and white Metro blazer that might be interesting to wear with it. And I, of course, have my magenta um, blazer that I can wear. I could probably even wear this. This is my Stanton hoodie, the zip up hoodie in a gorgeous pink and black. So I could wear this and make the outfit extra casual if I wanted to. So again, a lot of versatility in this outfit and a lot of pieces that will go with stuff already in my closet, which is amazing. So all in all, I think this was a huge success. The pants are not perfect, but the outfit as a whole works and is really, really comfortable. And each piece will work with other things in my closet. So those black and white pants, obviously I can wear a black top, a white top, a pink top, any kind of color top, really, as long as it's a solid. I'm not big on print clashing, uh, just never got into it. And um, yeah, I have lots and lots of solid colored tops that would work well with those pants. So yes, I'm very happy, quite pleased with my outfit. And like I said, I wore it for an entire day for work. I was comfortable and I looked very put together on video calls. And yeah, that's, that's success in my books. So I'm probably going to be doing the same thing in February, but before I put my plans together for February, I'm going to go through my closet and try and identify what I'm missing, what pieces I could make in February that will go with things already in there that I'm not wearing that much because I can't pair them with anything or I have a harder time pairing them with items in there. So February's outfit might be very boring, neutral basics. I don't have very many of those, but they will fill huge gaps in my closet, I think. So that I think that's the direction I'm going to take in February. So I would love to know, what do you think? Um, what do you think of the outfit? What do you think of my plan of making outfits every month or at least garments that go with stuff I already have? Are you the kind of sewer who plans outfits or their makes that way? Or are you more of a, ooh, look at this beautiful, beautiful print. I need a top from it kind of sewer. I would love to know. Leave in the comments below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.